You're watching Nautical Television Europe, ntve.tv. Okay, I'm here with Sean Dooley, uh, owner of uh, Nautilus. Correct. And uh, we're here at the 2010 uh, Monaco Yacht Show. Uh, tell me, Sean, what is this beautiful toy we've got here? Toy, it's actually a tool. I hear toy a lot, but it is. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, this is the Voss submarine, which is uh, we're the exclusive dealers for it. We build them here in Italy. Well, next next to Monaco in Italy, uh -huh. we build them in Europe. Um, we currently have two under production for two large private yachts, and we have one currently sailing around uh, the world as we speak. That's great. So tell me a little bit more. How did this concept come to be, and what is it? How do you think it's going to go in the future? Well, there's a lot of uh, talk about submarines in the press and uh, well, part of it is true, most of it's not. We got into submarines because we do all the diving for the clients. So we do rebreathers, we do recompression chambers. Um, submarines seemed like the natural progression. So we uh, basically found the best submarine that was available, which in our opinion, obviously, since we're the dealer, is, is the Voss. But the thing that makes the Voss uh, different from other submarines is it's much larger. Uh, it's comparable to a corporate jet, so there's people, there's standing room in there. So most people associate submarines as being small and cramped, uh, which can be true. Uh, we have submarines that we're building that have toilet facilities, bar facilities, uh, seating for six. Though this one behind you is a lockout submersible, which means we're able to dive from it and re-enter it underwater. Wow, that's fantastic. So what is the sort of profile of your uh, clients? Are you, are you in the leisure industry or are you more for the professional? Specifically yacht oriented. Our history is I've been working in the yachting industry for 17 years and doing the diving side. And like I said, this was a natural progression and it's been well received. And our clients are generally adventurous, uh, clients that uh, can afford the best. Yeah. So what sort of depth can these submarines go down to? The depth of these submarines is, uh, we rate them to 500 feet. They can go much deeper if the client wishes. The idea behind limiting it to 500 feet is strictly for safety. Um, but the, the maximum depth of, of diving generally is 130 feet, 40 meters. Uh, so it goes much deeper than, than you need to. And uh, I've heard you talking about toilet facilities and bars. And they're obviously sort of, you know, little luxuries that we're going to have on these submarines. How many people can we hope to get on a little trip underwater? People, uh, how many people uh, on how many one passengers? submarine? Yeah. We build them up to 10 passengers. The wow. next submarine that, that's launching is probably going to be the industry standard, uh, definitely our showpiece, which is going to be six-person diver lockout luxury submarine. Uh, yeah, wow. it'll be, it'll be, you'll see it in all the media outlets. It's coming in uh, February of 2011. So what are the price ranges of uh, the uh, VAS submarines? We build the VAS in several sizes, uh, anywhere from four passengers to ten passengers. So the price fluctuates accordingly. The range would be anywhere from two million to six million euros. We actually have a proposal out now for a 12 person 40 foot long submersible that's 11 and a half million euros with uh, bar toilet seating for 10 it's pretty amazing well what are the uh, licensing uh, implications for these vehicles and what sort of certificates would you need to be able to skip a one of these well we do all the training uh, for the crew and as far as licensing it's it's a it's a developing field I think the more important question is the insurance, and I think the insurance industry is slowly developing as well, uh, And but they're accommodating them on, on yachts. And as far as the training, the we train the crew, and uh, or obviously you can bring in crew that's had experience, but uh, generally we find that the yacht owners want the, the, the spit and polish that they have currently. Sean Dooley from Nautilus, thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Thank you. You're watching Nautical Television Europe, ntve.tv.